What's up guys, JTales here with another video, and this time I'm going to be covering Frank West in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I know it's been quite some time, and this isn't Smash Brothers, this is Marvel. Um, right now I'm currently sitting at top 30 on the Steam PC leaderboards, so I'm hoping to maintain that, but I just wanted to shine some light on Frank West, a very underused character. Um, so, first thing I'm going to do is show you how I get Frank West to level 5. I'm sure there are easier ways, more effective ways. Um, you can pair him up with Dante or Dormammu or some other characters that have really long-lasting supers, but let me just show you my method real quick. Right, so you want to get the first hit with Ultron. Then I tag in Frank West. Snapshot snapshot level five right and that's pretty much guaranteed um at any point in time deal 6.3 um thousand i'm sure i'm sure i can optimize it with some fly stuff um but right now this is what i got working with me so right and i just want to talk to you a little bit about frank's moves and why they're why they're good um first thing is this chainsaw uh you can kind of wave dash forward and it covers a lot of horizontal range um, and if you connect close em enough, you can actually combo it into a knockdown, right? So you can knock them down, and then you can actually uh, ground bounce them and start comboing. See? So, right, so just off of a horizontal poke, you can kind of uh, get things started, and you can just dash forward and do it, right? So it kind of creates an ambiguous range. Um, although the kick might not always connect, so that's kind of the bad part about it. Um, I don't think Frank is an insanely good character, because I've been struggling uh, against a lot of zoners, but I do want to show you some options he has. Um, another thing you can do, right, is if uh, people are going to be blocking. Here, let's just set this dummy to... Uh, standing, and let's get the auto guard, right? So... Oh, or the all guard? Yeah, right? So you can pressure um, with instant overhead to the chainsaw. And then if they block, you can actually do a, a knee drop. But you don't have to suffer this end lag, actually. Um, one thing they change is that you can cancel. Um, or you can cancel it with other moves before he touches the ground. Which is pretty helpful. Right? So I, I can kind of... Uh, Mitigate the end lag of knee drop, or I can just fake people out and see that. So I can actually cancel that into a, a command grab or a level three um, if I can get the timing right. See that, and then I can go for a grab. So he has a lot of pretty good mix-ups um, in general. Once he gets into position, that's that's the hard part, right? You can even go for like one of those, um, and it throws people off. They'll they'll be camping reality stone and stuff like that. Um, or alternatively, you can boom, tag in, and get that mix-up going. Um, he also has an invincible roll. Um, let's record Iron Man doing a unibeam. Right? Pretty straightforward. Now let's play that. Alright, so the, ra the horizontal range is not that good, but... It does have invincibility on startup, so... So yeah, I'm kind of getting clipped after the fact, but uh, it's a pretty good roll. Um, it's good for its purpose. Another thing we want to talk about is how to deal with Reality Stone, right? Because this is one of the most commonly move, uh, used moves in the meta right now. Um, so this, this uh, Surf Bot move actually has one piece of armor. Um, it, it has durability for one projectile, not a beam. But just one projectile, even on the ground, uh, he can run through. Actually, let me just re-record that. Right, so I can, I can run through one projectile, um, which is pretty cool. Another thing you can do is... Right, you can kind of... Uh, right, so, so he has some ways to deal with projectiles. Um, they're a little slow, right? This actually moves him forward, which is why I don't like it very much. Um, because when you're trying to stay full screen, you don't want to move forward into whatever is already in mid-screen, right? So, it's a little wonky, but you know what I mean? Um, it kind of works out. 
Um, the other thing, so let's try seeing how to deal with two reality stones, right? So, because that's what people do, reality stone, tag, reality stone. And you kind of get swamped that way, right? And let's, let's wait for it, right? And you can't, well, you can do that, but if you try to go through both, actually, it will clip you. Oops. See that? So it hits me out of uh, of the surf bot move. So what I do instead is, right? I just kind of take a picture, and it gets rid of those projectiles, and it helps me stall, which is pretty cool, right? So I can take a picture, and then I can uh, go ahead and and surf bot if I want, um, or whatever. Take a picture, knee drop, surf bot, right? Take a picture. Even though the buffering on camera is a little weird, um, you can get used to it, right? Or you can just perfect push block it, but it's not optimal because once you make the reality stone yours, your opponent can just summon another one and then tag another one. So you want to be really careful with that. But um, Frank's aerial range is really good. He can just stuff people out with these, uh, this is light punch with these chainsaws, so if they're trying to approach from above or from, from the side, you can kind of just stuff everything that people do, um, which is pretty nice. Uh, he has a slide, so you can hit low and go into his combos, however you want to do it. Um, so there's that. Uh, yeah, and sometimes during Reality Storm, I kind of just chill up here, right? Snapshot, snapshot, power stone, and I try to, try to just stall a little bit uh, up here since if you don't see the lightning ball, you're fine. Um, but generally, I just kind of use the snapshots to stall if I need to. Um, but aside from that, and fr uh, Frank has the core circle forward heavy punch on the ground. So when you get into situations, uh, a last last character situation, and your opponent's crouch blocking, you can actually uh, kind of do one of those, right? So they're gonna block low because they know you want to slide, and then you can go with the overhead and mix them up. Uh, let's get the dummy to do it. So let's just say block low only, right? Uh, boom, boom. Well, it doesn't... Hmm. I feel like it should be hitting, but... Because I catch people with this all the time online. I'll just slide and then I'll go into the overhead. Um, I think it's an overhead, but it's, it's showing mid right now, so I'm not quite sure. But anyway, um, let me show you guys some... Just like a little bread and butter with him. Right. And then you can combo that into level 1. And you can tag beforehand or after. Whatever floats your boat. Get some more meter. Right, so 7.3k, right? So I can start off with a slide into launch. And then serve bot. And I can slow it down and talk about the notation if you guys want, if that would be helpful. Boom. And then, you know, cross up, do this, one of those. Use the invincible roll to kind of set up another situation. Use Ultrons. Yeah, so, I don't know. Um, Frank is decent, as I'm finding, but I'm sure you guys can probably do a lot better than I have been doing. Um, I just have a lot of trouble with zoners and having a hard time getting in on people, especially with reality stone, because if I'm approaching from a pie, I can't really knee drop into a reality stone. I can't really approach with chainsaws either, because um, I just get hit. It's, uh, you can't really attack the reality stone. Um, and he just, just kind of gets locked down, right? You can throw zombies, yeah. And um, the other thing is, if they reflect, right? When you're kind of doing projectile wars, um, let's do, uh, let's do, oh yeah, advancing guard on. Uh, let's do all guard, right? So, so if you're kind of doing projectile wars, you can do tricky things like that. Oops. Um, and that kind of works out. But you can't be too close. So, I don't know. Um, it's just things to think about for those of you interested in picking up the character. Maybe you found something that you didn't know before. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I could talk about. Uh, he has a command grab, a level 3 command grab, which is... Alright, and it automatically gets him to level 5, so also, if you're in those, you know... The problem with this team is that 
when you have level 1 Frank West, you don't have the leeway to tag into him, right? So like a lot of teams will, will do a raw super at neutral or they'll do something unsafe and then they'll tag their teammate in. But when you get puny level 1 Frank, he can't really help you with too much. Um, so the, the issue with this team is that you have to get the first hit with, with your point character. And then from there, uh, love, get him to level 5, and now you're playing Marvel Infinite. But before that, you're just playing 1 versus 2, because uh, Frank West, uh, before that, I mean, it's a little tough, but you would have to get this level 3 on them. Uh, to uh, It automatically gets you to level 5, so you don't even have to do any work, but you have to be close enough to command grab super them. So that's the issue. Um, and that's just uh, down, down back and 2 kicks. Uh, and both kicks, rather, to do the level 3. Um, and it levels them up to level 5, but, um, like I said, it's really hard to pull off, and it's really situational. So, yeah, I mean, that these are just my thoughts right now on Frank West in the current meta. I think he's good, uh, but I think that as the meta progresses, he might get phased out and not really be... Uh, too useful, unfortunately. Um, he's such a fun character, though, and I wish that he was better, but I've had a little bit of trouble. But hopefully you guys um, consider picking him up, or maybe some of you guys are picking him up and learn something new from this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to be making a lot of MVCI content, so stay tuned for that. Please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you guys next time.